Now turn to section 2. Test 3. Section 2. You will hear part of a podcast for visitors to the popular holiday region called the Trelaw Valley. First, you have some time to look at questions 11 to 14. Now listen and answer questions 11 to 14. The valley and estuary of the River Trelore forms an unspoilt, beautiful landscape, rich in both wildlife and sites of historic interest. There are many ways to explore the area, and public transport links are good. It is possible to leave your car behind and travel by boat, train, or bus, with just short walks in between stops. The Trelore Valley Passenger Ferry runs between villages along the river estuary and provides a link with a train station at Barrie, which is about ten minutes' walk from the riverside village of Calton. In the past, the river was the main form of transport in the area, and as in the past, today's ferry service operates according to nature. The river estuary is tidal, and so the ferry timetable differs from day to day, according to the times and height of the tide. The ferry is also seasonal, normally running between April and September, depending on the weather. A timetable for the whole year can be downloaded from the Internet by visiting www.trelorferry.co.uk. If you just want to sit and relax and enjoy the lovely scenery, you can take a river cruise to Calton and back from the nearby city of Plymouth. In the past, steamships brought early tourists along the same route. Queen Victoria and her family enjoyed such a trip in 1856. The journey is quicker these days. The round trip takes between four and five hours, depending on tides and weather. If you prefer, you can travel upriver by boat and return to Plymouth by train. All cruise boats and trains have wheelchair access. For more information and for departure times, ring Plymouth Boat Cruises on 017-528-23104. Trains run several times a day throughout the year between Calton and Plymouth, with various stops in between. They are used by both local commuters and tourists who want to enjoy the beautiful scenery. The highlight of the journey is crossing the river on the stunning viaduct, which was built at the beginning of the 20th century and towers 120 feet over the water. It is unnecessary to book, and tickets can be bought on the train. For information about fares and timetables, Contact National Rail Enquiries by phone or online. The bus service in the Trelore Valley now connects all train stations and villages in the area. Especially for holidaymakers, there's a rover ticket which can be used at weekends and on national holidays and allows unlimited journeys on those days. The rover ticket provides great value for money and is now even cheaper than it was last year. An adult ticket costs £5.50 a day. Senior citizens can travel for £4.50, and a family ticket for up to five people costs just £12. Tickets can be bought on the bus. Now you have some time to look at questions 15 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 15 to 20. 
At the center of the Trelore estuary area is the historic riverside village of Kelton. The main road comes into the village from the south, and for those of you who are arriving by bus, it turns left just before the bridge and stops in the lay-by on the left-hand side. From there, it's just a short walk to Calton's various attractions. If you're arriving by car, you have to leave it in the main car park. Go over the bridge and take the first turning on the right. Then go on until you come to the end of that road. It's the only place to park in Calton, but there's no charge. If you're interested in local history, there's a museum in Calton with farming, fishing, and household implements from the late 19th century. As you come in from the south, cross the river and go straight on the same road until you reach the end. Also, on the subject of history, you can go and see the old mill, which has recently been renovated and put back into use. Turn left before you come to the bridge. Then go straight on, and then take the first turning on the right. This leads straight there. If you're interested in arts and crafts, there's a potter's studio where you can watch the artist at work. After crossing the bridge, turn left, and it's the second building on the left. Finally, when you feel in need of refreshments, there's a cafe opposite the old boathouse and a picnic area near the mill. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Hi, this is Old Spot. I would very much appreciate it if you could like, subscribe and share this video as this will enable me to help more ALT students reach their ALT goals. Very much appreciate it. Thank you.